our military with this absurd lack of focus we have right now, we are in trouble. We were in deep, deep trouble by the time Barack Obama left when he put in all these political people and he put in all this social justice crap all throughout our military. It got really bad under Obama. I had a bunch of friends who were still in who got out under Obama. They couldn't take it anymore. So that was bad enough. And then Trump gets in. And you know, I'm proud of Trump. Thought he did a lot of great things. He did not understand the problem, the deep, deep internal rot within our military. So there was no clean out. So it got worse. And now Trump loses. Joe Biden gets in. We're doubling and tripling down on everything. It's really bad. And now, I mean, as it, as it stands right now, what are you and I doing? We can yell about this. We can yell about that. I don't like the National Guard troops in D.C. I mean, you see the National Guard troops. We still have thousands of National Guard troops guarding the Capitol against three dorks in an Internet forum. It's the stupidest thing in the world. But that's just a minor thing, really, right? What, what do we do when it doesn't become a minor thing anymore? What do we do when it becomes something else? We can yell about all this transgender insanity, changing the uniforms, the girls get to get the nails done now, and all these other things. It's all fun and games now. What do we do when it actually matters? And I will tell you this, I still have many friends at different levels in the United States military. You don't understand how significant the problems are. And we've gotten so far past discussing some basic problems, now we're discussing nutball problems. We have the military paying for transgender surgery and stuff. We're way past the point of having hard discussions like, you ready for this? Should women be deployed on a naval vessel? They never were before. They are now. You're not allowed to say anything publicly if you're in the military. That's why you can't find anything printed on it. But... It's a humongous problem. It's not because women are bad. It's because women are women and men are men. And when you throw a bunch of 18, 19, 20-year-olds on a gigantic ship and send them out to sea, things are going to happen. And from those things, drama is going to happen. And soon, it's the days of our lives on an aircraft carrier instead of focusing on killing communists. That's what's happening now. And we're so far past that conversation, we can't even have that one. I don't know of another person besides me who's even willing to bring it up. But the public can see confidence is going down. Poll, overall trust in the military is down 14% already from 2008. Down 14%. And Americans know. Americans are well aware there's a gigantic, significantly powerful threat out there in this world. Maybe you've heard of them. They're called China. An article came out yesterday. The Air Force ran an exercise, a simulation against China. We got crushed. We got crushed. Did you hear what I said? Poll. Americans know China's the biggest threat. 37% believe China in 2021 is the greatest. It's actually said that that's not 99%. We are losing our edge. We are. And why are we losing our edge? Oh, it's not complicated. We're not focusing on killing people. That makes people uncomfortable. I know you know I do that every day anyway, but the military's job is to kill people and break things. They're not librarians. They're not your little league t-ball coach. They're not your Sunday school teacher. The United States military's job is to kill the enemies of the United States of America. That's their job. There's not a second job either. That's their one job. That's the one job of every military, of every nation in the history of the world. If there are enemies, go kill them so they can't kill your people. Our people? Why are we falling behind countries like China? Well, China's giving their young men masculinity classes. We've lost our mind in focusing on everything else that doesn't matter. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.